Hi guys, welcome back. We're watching Angels of Death episode two. Um, this is gonna be the episode, you know, right after Rachel said, asks um, Luke. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot his name. I'll remember it after this episode, I promise. I think, was it Luke? Whatever. She asked him to kill her, which we know is not gonna happen. Um, and I'm just really intrigued to see his development as a character, or rather, um, him kind of showing his not murder personality while they kind of struggle together. So I'm just that this is gonna be the first episode where they kind of show them together, not as him chasing to kill her. At least that's what I think. Um, but I guess we're gonna find out. So let's just get right into it, guys. She said, "Kill her." Oh, okay, she didn't say it yet. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen the opening in this anime too. Oh. He has no like eyes. He has eyes, but he doesn't have the iris or the pupil. Ooh, you know, yeah, she has this really like she has like a personality switch where she gets creepy and she has her eyes that kind of lose the light and it, she gets really badass like that. I think. But that's exactly this type of girl. <laughs> like I wasn't kidding last week. What? He's really tall. See, I told you, he's not gonna be into someone that's actually asking to be killed. You need to be like, screaming and stuff. Oh, he's either tall or she's short. There you go, so that's the deal. I need to master my straight face though when this like person ever comes in front of me with a sight I just gotta be like <laughs> I'm not happy Zach <laughs> I'll remember that guys his name is not Luke I don't know where the heck that came from Zach you ask that now. <laughs> she literally just said that. I hope you get out of this with a change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna read it? Okay. So is this how the game is? It kind of leaves like weird puzzle phrases like that and you just kind of like quotes and you just gotta kind of figure out how to get out or something? I gotta check it out. Her parent, her. Oh, I think she like pre prepared it for her. <laughs> I just hear Bakugo and it's just making me laugh. <laughs> She's creepy? I mean, slightly, but you're creepier. <laughs> she's 
<laughs> She's like, yes. He's like, what? <laughs> She's measuring a flower. Why am I assuming it's a she? I think it's a she because how classy she's handling this, no offense. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a girl preparing graves and stuff beforehand. Maybe it's a guy actually? Is it that little kid like with the mask? Laugh, <laughs> oh my god, that laugh is hella annoying. <laughs> There's nothing funny, stop. <laughs> I really need to understand what the point of all this is though, like... Isaac Foster? I love that name! I love the name Isaac. I really love the name Isaac, that's just so funny. Oh, it's already starting, but like... Subconscious affection or whatever. I love how they play funeral music. It's like a funeral for the graves. <laughs> Isaac I love the name Isaac. Shit, the music is testing you. What would I answer? I feel like he does not want to hear pity. Um, first of all, I'd say I love your name. Great, just explain what it is. <laughs> she wants to die. Fan. Girl, it's not the way to go. Not with him. <laughs> I mean, with some people it might work, but I don't think it's gonna work with Isaac here. that this person prepared the grave as if to say I'm gonna kill you you see what I mean he prefers that if anyone's gonna kill her it's gonna be him so it's like this is not your grave I love how he just kicks everything and he's like there's no grave there's no trigger <laughs> <laughs> but then you're asking someone else to kill you. That's pretty much the same thing. It's just not exactly, but. How? C 
I, what I want to know is how come she's entered this state of like being completely emotionless. Like I know when it happened. Just what is it exactly though? Because she's like how she's like doesn't know how to smile now. It's like I don't know. Cold? It's like steaming. How is it cold though? She wants you to kill her. She's not gonna run away. Yes, thank you. That's like a really cute sad smile, but it's cute. It's it's really sad though. <laughs> Bitch, stop laughing. Oh, I knew it was the kid with the mask. Yeah. Your grave is not here. And there's no page you. <clears throat> Alright guys. So this episode was obviously just like we learned a little bit about like Zach. He's obviously an orphan. Um and Things didn't go too well at the orphanage. Obviously, I'm sure it closed down and whatnot. And then after that, he was probably homeless, most likely. Um, I'm not sure yet what derived him to be a murderer. Um, maybe just his hatred for people. But it's not so much that. He's not just a murderer, like, of just anybody. He likes a specific type of person. It could have to do with the fact that he did not grow up, um with the liberty to express emotions um him being homeless probably like you know s scavenging for himself and stuff like that definitely smiling and laughing is not an emotion he was like completely you know able to express most of the time i'm sure and things like anger is probably also something he couldn't really express because maybe he did but maybe he didn't because he felt like um I'm not about to be a weak ass bitch and start like crying and being angry and stuff. Like maybe he just, that was his life and he took it on. So emotions all in all, I feel like it's just, he doesn't click with them. Maybe that's why he, um, well clearly he's laughing like crazy now, but <laughs> back in the day, I'm sure like these things, like he just doesn't, maybe that's why he's picky about the type of people he kills. Because if you just kill people out of like, you know, resentment for, um, you know, people in general because life sucked and all that, then I don't think he would be too, too, too picky. Or maybe he would just, I feel like he just goes for like the people that seem fortunate or something, you know what I mean? Um, Rachel, on the other hand, does not seem very fortunate in her position at all, but now he seems like he wants to kill people, but at the same time, he still wants to see a certain emotion from her. Um, otherwise, he's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> pretty slow, um, but yeah <laughs> all right so and on rachel's end like i asked earlier in the video i kind of just i know she got kind of like a complete switch when she was with the doctor before um but i'm still trying to see like what what is the significance of the side of her like where did it come from um how come it's just sticking compared to before when she seemed like just you know an innocent like what's going on running for her life kind of person she switched up when she had to fix that bird like she went inside that like creepy mode and stuff but i'm tr i'm trying yet to put my finger on the reasons why she like she was triggered to become like that like why did the bird that didn't look like her bird <laughs> seem to trigger her why did that moment with the doctor seemed to trigger her for like a longer period of time. Like she's just completely triggered now. Like, I don't know, it's just her character, I'm still trying to like grasp. I haven't grasped her yet. Um, now there's obviously this new little kid that's trying to kill them both, um, prepared their graves beforehand. Very professional. I'm trying to see what this kid can do because they're standing, I think it's a kid anyways. Maybe it's just like a really small person. But I'm just trying to see what this kid is going to be able to do against Zach and Rachel on his own. Like, he was laughing and stuff on the sidelines and, like, not on the front lines. But now he seems to have just come straight in front of Zach, so I'm sure he has something up his sleeve. But don't know what it is. So... This is still a fun anime. It's cool. Leave what you guys think in the comments, how you guys feel, your thoughts and opinions about all of this. Um, 
I'd like to know, is this like the flow? Like, I think some of you may have answered something similar last week, but like, is this really the flow of the game? Like, does the game go like, you know, you see passages and then you find clues and stuff and then you like, is is the way they're showing it in the anime like how you would play it as like the gamer? Like, I don't know. I'm just curious. But anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys again soon in my next video. So thanks and bye.